Greetings, I'm Christopher Logan Hill, the G.I. Joe Gamer. Today on Joe Takes, we're taking a look at Major Blood and wrapping up uh, the last of the Cobra Convergence 7. So, Major Blood for the Hilt. Um, we'll jump right in and uh, talk about the vintage figure. Now, I never had the vintage accessories, so I had to use the stuff from the battle pack because I think somebody just gave me Major Blood at some point way later. I didn't have him when I first started collecting. Uh, I actually think I had the uh, the later version in the, the Sonic Fighters Major Blood with the big old backpack that made noises uh, before I got this one. But, I, you know, I never really cared for that figure as much. And when I finally acquired this, this guy, you know, I, I think my brother had him. And he ended up giving me all his figures at some point. Because he, he was too old to collect, you know, even though he was younger than me. Um, I uh, took a took a, a, a bit of Sharpie to him and, and shined him up a little bit. Made all his blacks black, <laughs> as it were. And uh, I changed the O-ring on this one because it needed it really bad. Uh, the leg on this guy is really stiff for some reason. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I think there's, I didn't clean up the leg so maybe that's what it is but I thought it was a pretty cool figure I love I love the the arm that I always assumed was for protection against his his rocket pistol and he has these three rockets in the backpack here and so that's what I always thought that was but the according to the classified figure it's it's a bit more so so there he is uh, he's a uh, a bit uh, run down and but uh, still intact for a vintage figure but that's that's uh, the vintage major blood now I do have a 25th anniversary carded example of major blood and I like how they brought out the dog tags a bit more on him because uh, he collected dog tags after he killed a soldier and he claimed he killed a bunch of Joes but um, there's no there's nothing confirmed on that one <laughs> except for general flag which i'm pretty sure that was him and not scarface but i would have to double check that in the old comic books and we can we can look today to verify that i happen to have that right here so but anyway it was a decent enough figure uh, i actually prefer the vintage to this one uh, it's a lot of the 25th anniversaries i i do prefer the vintage too. This happens to be one of them. Some I, some I like the, the 25th anniversary version better. But uh, that kind of takes us to the box art for this guy. He's number 27 in the series. And then, you know, you have the box art here. And I love this box art. A lot of people do. I got a really good uh, picture of this that I used on the, uh, the promo for this video last Monday. So... It'll be at the near the end of the video as well. And that takes us to the classified figure. Uh, now, the only thing I didn't like about this figure, uh, I don't know if people have a gripe about it. I never could get these dumb missiles to stay in the backpack. So I'm just going to take them off because they're going to fall anyway. While we look at this figure. Now, as I was talking about the arm, they definitely made it uh, to be an artificial arm on the on the classified figure it is robotic in some way but you know what with the bats and everything he might have had uh, the reason why he wore that uh, prosthetic part uh, back then is because they didn't have the technology to have a really decent prosthetic but now he's got one uh, he's got a really cool pistol that he came with I know I don't really show off all these accessories but this one oh my goodness this is a hand cannon I kind of like hand cannons. I don't know why. They're just the concept. Now, he came with that, plus the uh, rocket launching gun actually attaches to his backpack, which is pretty cool. I mean, it, it just, the rocket snaps right in there, and then he's got his rocket launching gun, which is the way it was in the vintage. So, only the missile didn't come out. <laughs> it does now, but with a figure of this size, if they hadn't been able to make it do that, that 
why because then you know then they can also put the blast effects in there too so i haven't done that yet with him because i've got the vipers the viper three pack so i can check that out let me set his accessories aside because there's still a few things i wanted to talk about he's got these these uh, sh uh shin guards and uh, metal tips on his boots that's pretty cool uh we're looking at the dog tags like I, like i said they brought those out in the 25th anniversary but they yeah these this is this is pretty good i mean i think they could have done a better job with the classified figure but that's just me and his helmet is removable and oh, that face sculpt is just incredible i i don't know how to say it any other way major blood this figure is very well done uh, i like this figure a lot so that's the figure so let's talk about the comics a little bit i will like i said i'll take a quick look at issue 19 which is where general flag met his demise and since we're sitting here we can we can do stuff uh, Oh, I'm gonna have to get my cheaters. Sorry, guys. Uh, gotta see what I'm looking at here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it happened somewhere near the end. Uh, where that's where Quinn. That's his device. Uh, looks like it was not so much in the end here. Where it is? Oh well, he was still a prisoner at this point, so it has to be uh, has to be in here somewhere. I love this old artwork. <laughs> Larry Hama uh, as the author. That's a lot of the sketches, and so for for this, it was pretty cool. Uh, it looks like maybe Major Blood has already escaped at this point, so I keep skipping over it. Uh, oh, there he is. And there it is. Yes, it was Major Blood. He shot General Flag right in the heart, so that was it. So, that's a dog tag he can actually claim, unfortunately. Uh, I was pretty sure it was him and not Scarface, but it had been a while since I read that one. Oh. I put this back in the right spot. Yeah, 17. 17. Okay. So, yes, that a bit of G.I. Joe comic book history. Major Blood killed the original G.I. Joe commander in the comic books. Um, I like this particular issue right here uh, where he's lining Snake Eyes up in, in the scope. Of course, he didn't actually shoot Snake Eyes, but he tried he tried uh actually that one he he was after someone else and snake eyes kind of got in the way and i'm pretty sure he got who he was supposed to get uh which was odd because even after shooting general flag the u.s government hired him for that job so i it, it's weird the 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 way the way things work in reality and in story but uh major blood uh in the comic books, he was kind of like, I don't know, it was weird. Uh, he wasn't really part of the hierarchy. He was the, he was actually a mercenary like he was supposed to be. Um, when uh, when he first came on the Cobra, he, you know, he led a few times on the Cobra Truce, but for the most part, that wasn't his role. Uh, his role was... Uh, just just to do a certain job and then and then, and then uh, yeah, that was it he'd get paid to do a job uh he did a, uh, he had a thing for the baroness but who doesn't i you can't blame him uh major blood uh when him and the baroness they got together to conspire against cobra commander they actually tried to get uh, his son billy to shoot him and they kind of uh, conditioned billy to shoot cobra commander in front of a crowd but destro ended up stopping that which was funny because he had no idea what their plots were behind the scenes because he wasn't really that invested in cobra yet if he ever really was but uh 
Major Blood, uh, that was pretty much it after he left in the comics. I mean, they had, they had one little bit where he went and disguised himself as Destro and took over Destro's castle for a little while. And Destro came and took it back, but the, with the help of Flint and Lady J, ironically enough, that's some good stuff. But, uh, but then you didn't really see Major Blood in the comics pretty much until later on when he, he showed back up to do that job. Was it, wasn't it, uh, I, I don't know if he was a big, uh, for, for Larry Hama, I don't know if he was one of his favorite characters or not. Uh, for me, Major Blood, he's in the middle tier of, uh, of Cobras. Uh, I don't remember where he places in my, in my rankings of, uh, which Cobras I like the best, but, uh, I think he's in the top 20, maybe, to, or at least top 30. He's, like, like I said, he's not one of my favorites. Um, but he's a cool, cool, cool character. I thought it was a, it'd be a good way to end. Cobra Convergence 7 is with, with Major Blood showing up to uh, do a job for Destro there. Now, in the cart in the Sunbow cartoon, it was a little different. Uh, he would lead Cobra troops. He would... Uh, he was their, their go-to field commander. And, well, as a Major, that's what he really should have been. Uh, in a lot of ways. I mean, I know he, he ended up being a mercenary, but Cobra, in the comics, I don't really remember them utilizing him in that capacity as a field leader. Um, generally, when they were in the field with Major Blood, either Cobra Commander or Destro or even the Baroness was there, and all three of them definitely outranked Major Blood in the Cobra hierarchy, no matter what. Uh, excuse me. I still got a bit of a stuffed up nose here this week. But I'm feeling a lot better, that's for sure. I had a rough week last week, but I think I'm, I think I'm getting a little better today, and I'm feeling a lot better for sure. Now, favorite moments in the Sunbow cartoon with Major Blood? I think uh, one of them was Cobra Stops the World, where he had the, the Joes all trapped in a... Well, he had uh, Duke and Ace. They got shot down, and he got... He, he was... He had... Uh, He'd spoken, uh, he had spoken this indigenous language of these native people in this, this jungle terrain and he, he, they, he used them to capture Duke and Ace and then he, uh, he went to throw them in a pit of, uh, pit of snakes or pit of vipers maybe and it turned out he almost got thrown into the pit of vipers and so that was an interesting twist um, there was the vipers coming where Destro thought he was the viper and was beating him up for information that was kind of interesting, but overall, you know, he was in the major miniseries as a field leader. I don't remember if he was in Pyramid of Darkness, but I know he was in the first two. Uh, definitely in Mass Device, he was he was their field leader uh, on almost every mission. Uh, not so much in Revenge of Cobra. I mean, he led that one mission to the uh, Temple of Doom, <laughs> as it were. And he ended up succeeding in that one. He took, he got the he got the whatever the name of that uh, MacGuffin was for that episode. But uh, so Major Blood actually turned out to be a formidable Cobra to GI Joe, and that's what was cool about him. And uh, yeah, that's that is what I like about him. He's a formidable foe. He's not necessarily the standout enemy, not necessarily the standout Cobra villain. Uh, he's definitely a Cobra in my eyes, and where I put him in my hierarchy for Cobra is uh, uh, I, have a, I have a, like I said, I have a ranking system for Cobras, and the highest military officer rank for Cobras is Commander, and he kind of fills that role, and uh, as much as I like, uh, I, I have a Copperhead in command of the Python Patrol, but he led it for a while, which was kind of neat. Uh, I think they had a convention exclusive of Python patrols there in the early 2000s where Major Blood was the leader for a little bit, but Copperhead is definitely the Python patrol commander. In my eyes, anyway. Uh, but Major Blood, uh, where where to put him? That is that is the question. He, I mean, half the time he's plotting against Cobra Commander, half the time he's loyal. In... Uh, Resolute, the animated uh, G.I. Joe, uh, it was, they put it into a movie, but it used to be uh, the internet uh, shorts or uh, the mini, mini, movie, mini films. 
They were like 15 minutes long, 10 to 15 minutes long each, and then they put them all into one movie. And uh, so G.I. Joe Resolute is actually uh, more for adults. And right at the right at the beginning of that, Cobra Commander killed Major Blood for being a, a traitor or not not succeeding. Is probably closer to the mark. So we in that we saw how Cobra Commander really felt about Major Blood. But uh, in the comics, uh, Cobra Commander uh, used Major Blood the way he was supposed to. He was a mercenary. When he needed a job, he called Major Blood. Major Blood would do the job. United States would even call Major Blood to do the job. He, he, he'd hire out to just about any, anyone. That made, that's what made him a real mercenary. In the cartoon, definitely a Cobra op operative. Uh, he definitely sided with Serpentor when Serpentor uh, took over. Uh, and then, uh, when he came back in the, the Deke animated series, he was definitely a Cobra operative again, but I don't, I didn't, don't remember that series very well, so I can't really comment on that, but I don't think he was a field leader much of that, just like he was just like there as a Cobra agent, which as is how most of them were. So that about, about sums it up on Major Blood. I mean, cool Cobra. Definitely a cool classified figure. Had to have this when it came out. I, I, I didn't have to get lucky. I mean, they had this guy in the Target stores. He was a Target exclusive. So it was a Cobra Island figure. They definitely had him in the in the in the stores up here where I live. Uh, Cobra Island exclusive. I didn't show the back of this. I, I like how they 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 targeted like little sections of the island, like where the mission was supposed to be. I guess they never really clarified that they have these symbols who. You know, you had to look it up on the website to see. And now they shut the website down. So, but they they still have the symbols on uh, on the box art. So it's like oh, I wonder where they're where they're going to go with that. Are we going to get a decoder book? Maybe, maybe if they had a booklet inside. They've got those stupid little uh, uh, warning labels on the inside. Why couldn't they put a little booklet on how to decode the the <laughs> the skills? So for their instead of a file card, that's what they that's what they give us. You know. I prefer the file cards, and uh, in the in the artwork near the end of the video, I will have uh, the, his file card in there for you to check out. So that, that kind of sums up how I feel about uh, Major Blood, and uh, I could probably talk to G.I. Joe all day today, and I'm feeling pretty good. So <laughs> with that all being said about Major Blood, Logan out.